Hello and welcome back to Fem Design Video Lessons. In this video, you will learn about how to modify the finite elements for your shell structures in Fem Design software. First, we can move to Finite Element tabs, and in here we can start by checking out the Peak Smoothing Region tool here. With Peak Smoothing Region tool, you can set your own peak smoothing regions to your structures simply by drawing them here. You can draw them by clicking left left uh, side of your mouse and showing two points for uh, rectangular peak smoothing region and for circular you can simply set the center line and then radius for your uh, circle. Uh, one thing to know about peak smoothing region is that if you have set the peak smoothing from settings to be automatic, from here you will go calculation, peak smoothing method. Here you can actually set the uh, or change the method to be used in peak smoothing. And from automatic settings, you can set the parts or the places in your structure where the FEM design will automatically create those peak smoothing regions. And by editing here, this uh, value, you can change the size of the peak smoothing, smoothing method. And actually, from this model, you can see that at the endpoint of these columns, when I have column endpoints activated, I already have peak smoothing regions. Just gonna press OK from here. And of course, you can simply erase these, just like any other obje object in your model. And of course you can do, do the same for the elements that are the peak, peak smoothing regions that are generated automatically like this. Next, we are gonna look into how uh, you can modify the elements in your shell structures here. Uh, first, you select the average surface element size by clicking here, and then you can select uh, the structure or the object you want to modify. And here, usually this is on automatic. And But, however, you can from here select the size for your elements. Or you can actually calculate automatically the optimated size for your element. By clicking here, I can change the size or I generate the new size uh, sized element here. You can see that the element size is a little bit smaller than in other shells there. Uh, I have few other automated options. I have Refine, Optimal Reboot, and Smooth. If I use Refine, uh, with Refine I can uh, change the element size automatically. Let's just say that I want to refine mesh for peak smoothing area in here. And with here I can select big objects or big uh, elements like this and when I overlay that or select that and press execute I can see that the area that was selected is uh, gonna be is gonna have a uh, refined mesh and in this case it's it's a bit smaller so I get better results over there and also I have optimal repulled mesh tool here where you can see that the FEM design is trying to optimize automatically the mesh size for these parts. And then I have the smoothing tool where the FEM design will automatically try to smooth this mess that you could see actually there it a little bit changes the parts or, or the element uh, size over there. And then I have a prepare tool. This is mainly for or only for 3D elements like uh, 3D plate, wall, or soil elements. And then I have split surface elements, move node, and I can also delete my elements. Let's, just, let's say from there I wanted to delete those. And I'm just gonna, with this, I'm gonna regenerate those. And now what I'm gonna show lastly is checking of the elements or the finite elements. By check tool, you can check is there any problems or warnings in your mesh 
and here I can see that the information window said that no problems and your mesh is working correctly. So here was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.